Who would win in a street fight? UFC fighter Sean Strickland or a Navy SEAL? He thinks he would. I don't think there's one fucking Navy SEAL who could survive a week training with me. I'm kind of sick of seeing it, because like, you guys think you're badass, come train with me for a week. I'll show you what's up, I'll fucking break you. First and foremost, before we get started, I want to just elaborate on how much respect I have for any type of fighter. And this is one of the reasons you'll never see men like me doing something like Sean did and attacking an entire community, clout chasing. So what we can do is we can just talk about the facts at hand before we get into the dicey stuff here in a few minutes. Although I do believe Sean was directing his video towards David Goggins because if you know that David Goggins actually helped Tony Ferguson prepare for his most recent fight, which he did lose, so it's natural that people were going to go after David Goggins and his overall performance. You know, unfortunately, David Goggins felt that what he could do for Tony Ferguson would put him back in the ring and on top, but that's just not the case. You know, life happens and it just didn't turn out the way he thought. Sean, let me make it very clear to you. Everything that you've done up until this point in your life has been nothing but selfishness. The way you train, you step into the ring for money and your own glory. Everything you do is about me, me, me. Everything that we do as a SEAL is about helping other people. We walk away from our families, our wives, our children, knowing that we may not come back. We go into houses to take down terrorists knowing that we may take our last breath that day. You're protected by time, you're protected by a referee, you're protected by gloves, you're protected by a mouthpiece, and you're protected by rules. At the end of the day, you get to go home, and you know it, and that is why men like you can act so tough and step in the ring and do what you do, because if there was any possibility that you were not going to go home that night, you would not step in that ring for what little bit of money you make in those fights. You said that you can break any seal. Well, here I am. Accept my challenge because I accept yours. I know that you're gearing it towards David Goggins, just clout chasing, but guess what? Now you've got someone else that wants a piece of you, and I want it desperately. The weakest seal that has ever been created would destroy you in a street fight, as I would. There are no rules. We are fighting for our life. Every single time you went for an armbar or a choke or something like that, I would chew your face off. Those ugly ears sitting on the side of your head, I would rip off. If I needed to, I would run my thumb up your butt, but it's okay, because I'm a nice guy, I would lube it with tier three before I did it so it didn't hurt so bad. Men like me have proven time and time again, not only in our training, but the simple fact that when we do go to war, we put a smile on our face, we chase death. Death is the only thing that actually gives us a sense of thrill in life anymore. Yet you think you can break men like me? We've never been broken. There was nothing you could do that would ever break us. Would you absolutely, utterly, probably destroy me with a set of gloves on, with rules? Absolutely, that's what you're trained to do. But I can promise you this, I don't care if you knock me out, I don't care if you took the wind out of me and knocked me down, I don't care if you choked me unconscious, when I recovered, I will get back up. We will finish the day. I will come back the next day, all five days. But let me tell you what's gonna happen when you come to me, Sean. We're gonna go out in the ocean, minimum of five miles. Everyone is going to leave once we're dropped off. There's no canoes, there's no boats, there's no helicopters, there's no planes, there's no one there to save you. And when your little body starts cramping up because you can't handle it, I'm going to smile and I'm gonna keep on swimming. As a man who has been the tip of the spear, there's a reason why we don't attack men like you. And it's not because we're scared of you, Sean, it's because we have the utmost respect for you. We understand what it takes takes to get to where you are, and we respect you for that. There are men who are in the UFC right now or in Bellator that have served this country diligently. And the fact that you call yourself pro-military and you want to come after Navy SEALs because we are some of the best of the best in the world shows how shallow you really are and what type of person you are. You can't attack someone just because you want to do some clout chasing and then call yourself pro-military in a sense like that. If you want to talk about how you would crush a Navy SEAL in the cage, great, unless he's trained. Because you're skilled in that area and we're not, of course you would win. 
but come to the street where there's no rules, where we don't have to worry about hitting you in certain areas, where there's no bells, when it's all about survival instinct, when there's no money involved. All that matters is a simple fact that we go home or we don't. It'll be a different story for you. But I just want to say for all of you military members out there, regardless of what your capabilities are, to continue doing what you're doing and never let someone like this to get to you. Because there's always going to be people out here like this who's simply wanting to make a name for themselves or grow even more by using men like me to make that growth possible. Sean, what'd you make in that last fight? Three million and you got your head stomped in? Enjoy your money, my friend and continue building people up. Take some of that money, open up a gym, start teaching people to do what you do, or invest in military people with your training and help them become better fighters so they can be better war fighters overseas so they can do their job better and there's a higher chance that they get to come home. But instead, all you do, as I said, is nothing but selfish actions, selfish words that goes and proves why men like you have never and will never serve any part of this country at any capacity. It's just not in you. It's just not who you are. And that's one of the main things that separates men like you and men like us. You're selfish, we're selfless. And I want you to think about this. There is nothing that you have ever done that provides the security that men in uniform has provided, not only for you, but continue to provide for me even as a prior service member. I fought my fights. I provided security for this nation at a given point. My time is over with. Now there are men who've replaced me who are providing that security and those freedoms to me. So for you to go out and say that we don't provide freedoms for you, what have you done to provide freedoms for any man on this planet? The answer is zero. So Sean, I wanna make it clear to you, I accept your challenge, so please accept mine. But here's the thing, I am going to come to you and I'm gonna let you destroy me because that's what you're good at. I'm going to get up, I'm gonna finish that week out, and then you're gonna to come to me. And at the end of that five days, there's no rules, there's no gloves, there's no mouthpiece, there's no referee, and then we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna show you the difference between a warfighter and a true killer versus someone who simply fights in the cage for fame and fortune. So for all of you who are watching this video, start tagging him. Tag him, share this video. I want this to happen, and I know you do too. You guys have a good day, and God bless. Lube it with tier three before I did it so it didn't hurt so bad. That was good. <laughs> is that all right? <laughs> this is a Christmas.